Hello, everybody, and welcome back into the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. If you're staying tuned in with us, thank you so much for hanging with us. Or if you're just now tuning in with us, welcome in here to the Winthrop King Center here in beautiful Rome, Georgia, as right now will be the Montevello Falcons taking on the Shorter Hawks here at home as the Shorter Hawks here at their own home stadium here at the Winthrop King Center in beautiful Rome, Georgia, taking on the Montevello Falcons. As right now, we do not have the starting lineups for the Falcons, but we, however, do have the starting lineup for your Shorter Hawks. As for your Shorter Hawks, starting right out of the gate here will be Jaden Dunham coming all the way from Brunswick, Georgia, six foot eight, sophomore forward. Uh, Grant Ashley in the lineup, second in the lineup from Sylvania, Alabama, six foot four, junior guard from Sylvania, Alabama. Next up in the lineup, Rafael Huzu, number 11 in your program from West Weston, Florida, six foot two, sophomore point guard. Ricky Knight Jr. coming up next is Ricky Knight Jr. from Fayetteville, Georgia, six foot four, senior uh, senior guard. And of course, rounding out the lineup, Mark Wilcox Jr. from Mobile, Alabama, six foot five, graduate <coughs> forward. Stepping in here for the Shorter Hawks here today. I want to thank you all for tuning in here. We are about five minutes away from tipping off this contest. So we're going to take a quick break and come back with more and hopefully have your Montevello Falcons starting lineup here on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. So stay tuned, folks. We've got more. Also, uh, if any of you uh, did not catch the women's game before this contest, uh, the women's team for the Shorter Hawks unfortunately fell to the Montevello Falcons. Uh, and a very, very tough, hard-fought hard fought loss as the Shorter Hawks women's basketball team looking to bounce back from that as they gave it 110% for the majority of the game and just unfortunately fell short in a heartbreaker. So, of course, Shorter Hawks women's basketball team will be back in action this Sunday as we hope to see you all there as well as we're going to take a quick break and come back with more action on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network.
Back here live on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network as we just got done with our starters for the Shorter Hawks. Now looking at our starting lineup for the Montevello Falcons. As for the Falcons, starting out the lineup will be Jamarius McRae, or excuse me, Braxton Bertolette. Next in the running, James McNeil, Tyler Moore, Mason Schiffelet, and Aiden Gardner. Your starting lineup for the Montevello Falcons as we get underway here in this contest tonight. Less than a minute to go as the starting lineup is about to be introduced. So we're going to take a short, short break and come back here on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network here as the starting lineups being introduced as the Hawks hitting the court now. Starting lineup for the Montevello Falcons if you miss them. Braxton Bertolet, James McNeil, Tyler Moore, Mason Schiffelet, and Aiden Gardner. And for your Shorter Hawks, Jaden Dunham, Grant Ashley, Raphael Husu, Ricky Knight Jr., and Mark Wilcox Jr. So we in here tonight as we get this contest underway here. I want to thank you all for tuning in, wherever you're tuning in from, whether you're tuning in here on YouTube. Could be tuning in here from locally here in Rome, Georgia. You could be tuning in from all over the state of Georgia. You could even be tuning out of state. 
you could be tuning in out of the country. So wherever you're tuning in from, want to thank you all for tuning in as right now. Both captains meeting up in center court. Referee getting set to tip things away here. 20 minutes have been put up on the clock here for the first half of play. And there's the tip in favor of the Falcons. With it will be Tyler Moore as Moore brings it in across the timeline, top of the key, hands it off to who? That's going to be with Braxton Burlett across, excuse me, on top of the arc. Now back to the top of the key, guarded heavily now by Mark Wilcox, Jr. Hawks right now with a 2-3 zone as they pitch it in the left wing side. Now down to the corner, skip pass into the lane. Driving underneath the arch, nice defense from Jaden Dunham as the Montevallo Falcons put up two off the rim, no good. Rebound battled for, controlled by the Hawks as they take it back the other way. Sling pass across the timeline, down to the top of the key, guarded heavily now by James McNeil. Falcons right now with a 2-3 zone, as it will be Grant Ashley from the left wing side. Gets it back off to Mark Wilcox, Jr. on the top of the key. Lamps it up and no good. Rebound controlled by the Falcons. With it will be Aiden Gardner brings it into the front court now from the left wing side. With it will be Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore guarded heavily now by Grant Ashley. Ashley putting on some good defense here. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. With it will be Aiden Gardner. Gardner down to the paint. It's quickly stolen away by the Hawks. With it will be Rafael Huzu as Husu. From the right wing side, down to the lane, top of the key with Grant Ashley. Now from the left wing side with it will be Ricky Knight Jr. Jr. gets it back out to Husu. Husu guarded heavily now by James McNeil. 2-3 zone now from the Falcons. That's now Jaden Dunham brings it in underneath the arc, drives it back up top of the key, hands it off to who? Ricky Knight Jr. Jr. down to the right wing side into the corner. Grant Ashley back to Rafael Husu. Husu organized the offense, motions out. Jaden Dunham is now Husu. Three-point shot from the left wing side. Off the glass, no good by... Ricky Knight Jr. So your score is still 0-0 zero zero here with 18-24 left to go here in the first half of play. So Falcons will have possession here. Inbounding it from the baseline will be James McNeil as McNeil gets it out to Tyler Moore. Moore from the backcourt across the timeline. Top of the key, hands it off to Braxton Burlett. Burlett down from the right wing side. Gets the pass out from Tyler Moore. Mason Schiffelet gets another pass out to Braxton Burlett as they bring it in across the top. Excuse me. Around the arc, three-point shot from the right wing side off the rim, no good. Rebound controlled by Ricky Knight Jr. Jr. across the timeline to the left wing side, drives it into the paint. Ball battled for, kept alive by the Hawks. Rafael Husu from the left right wing side. Three-point shots coming up and no good. Still scoreless here in this contest with 17-51 left to go here in the first half of play. From the right wing side with it will be Mason Schiffelet down to the paint. Levin Lane's going up and good by the Falcons. Aiden Gardner, and it looks like the Falcons are going to draw blood first here in this contest. Two to nothing. As now the Falcons on top over the Hawks by two points. Three point shot from the right wing side up and no good by Grant Ashley. Whistle sounds. And it looks like the Falcons will take back possession here. So inbounding in from the baseline will be James McNeil with 17 24 left to go here in the first half of play. From the backcourt with it will be Tyler Moore. Moore brings it in across the timeline from the right wing side. Gets the pass out to Braxton Bertlett as Bertlett brings it in from the left wing side, drives it into the paint. Nice block from Jaden Dunham as the ball goes sailing out of bounds. Whistle sounds. And the Falcons will keep possession here in the front court. Foul is going to be called on the Hawks. So both teams now with one team foul. Eight at the line, shooting two will be. Mason Schiffelet so far scoreless on the night. Schiffelet's first shot will be up and good. He'll have another one. Mason Schiffelet from Shepherdsville, Kentucky. He attended Tees Valley Christian and West Liberty University. Second free throw shot will be good as he hits both of them. So Falcons now increase their lead 4 to nothing over the shorter Hawks from the right wing side with it will be Ricky Knight Jr. Jr. to the top of the key now with Micah Hodges coming to the game with his first appearance of the night. Rafael Husu guarded heavily now by Tyler Moore, top of the key, left wing side now, down to the paint. Two-point shot off the glass, no good. Rebound battled for, controlled by the Falcons with it will be Tyler Moore brings it back into the front court with Braxton Burlett. Burlett down from the right wing side back to the top of the key to Tyler Moore. Moore from the left wing side drives it into the corner. As now James McNeil tries to get underneath the arch, cannot do it. Back to the right wing corner. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks, putting on heavy defense. Two-point shot in the lane, up and no good. Rebound controlled by Micah Hodges of the Hawks. It's going back the other way, left wing side now, guarded heavily 
by Mason Schiffel at 2-3 zone now from the Falcons as the Hawks drive it into the paint, trying to find some room, double team, and it's stolen away by who? Tyler Moore with a nice pocket pick down from the right wing side to the front court with possession on the left wing side now. Braxton Bertlett gives it in top of the key now with Aiden Gardner. Gardner gives it back off to James McNeil down to the paint as Aiden Gardner tries to go up to the basket. Whistle sounds. Foul is going to be called on the Falcons, so it looks like Hawks will take back possession here. So inbounding it from the baseline will be Mark Wilcox, Jr. Jr. gets it out to Rafael Husu across the timeline into the front court from the left wing side, guarded heavily now by Braxton Bertlett. Dishes it back out to Ricky Knight, Jr. Whistle sounds, and down goes Tyler Moore onto the hardwood. Timeout called. And we're going to take that timeout with them as well. Four to nothing right now as the Falcons lead over the Hawks on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. We'll be back in just a few moments. Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. From the right wing side with it will be Jamarcus McCray coming into the game with his first appearance of the night for the Falcons. Three-point shot from the right wing side will be up and good by Braxton Burlett. As Burlett now with his first three-pointer of the night to now make it 7 to nothing as the Falcons continue to increase their lead over the Hawks. With it will be Grant Ashley outlets it out high to Ricky Knight Jr. Down to the left wing side with it will be Mark Wilcox Jr. Top of the key back to Mark Wilcox Jr. As now with it will be Micah Hodges. Slings it in left wing side three. One shot, nothing but net from Ricky Knight Jr. with his first three-pointer of the night. And just like that, Hawks are on the board here with 15.02 left to go here in the first half of play. So Falcons back with possession into the front court. Top of the key with it will be Braxton Burlett. Two, three zone now from the Hawks. As now the Falcons bring it around the horn for the left wing side, down to the paint. As they drive it underneath the arch, cannot find any room. Heavy defense now from Grant Ashley. Three-point shot from the left wing side, off the rim, no good. In and out, as it will be Rafael Huzu with the rebound across the timeline. Guarded heavily now by Tyler Moore, drives it into the paint, goes for the layup. Ricky Knight Jr. gets a pass out to Mark Wilcox Jr. Back out to Rafael Huzu. Now Grant Ashley, three-point shot from the right wing side, off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away quickly by Jamarcus McCray. And the Falcons take it back the other way, Tyler Moore. Brings it in across the timeline to the top of the key. Guarded heavily now by Grant Ashley. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks as it will be James McNeil. Drives it into the paint. Three-point shot from the left wing side. Nothing but net from who? Mason Schiffelet with now five points in the night. Already with two free throws as he's 100% from the free throw line tonight. Top of the key with it will be Micah Hodges from the right wing side. Rafael Husu back to the right wing corner with Mark Wilcox Jr. Drives it into the paint underneath the arc with it will be Micah Hodges. Back to the top of the key, Grant Ashley, three-point shot from the left wing side. Nothing but net from Ricky Knight Jr. again, just like that, six points on the night to now make it seven to six. Shorter Hawks now cut the deficit to one now as Tyler Moore takes it in the top of the key, guarded heavily now by Grant Ashley, 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. With it will be Braxton Burlett trying to find some room inside, cannot find anything as he brings it in on the right wing side. Layup in the lane, up and good finally by Braxton Berlin as he weaves his way through traffic to now make himself, or get himself five points on the night now to make it 12-6. to six. And just like that, two points from Micah Hodges 
from underneath the basket as that will now make it 9 to 8. Excuse me, 12 to 8. Falcons still on top over the shorter Hawks. Tyler Moore in <coughs> skip pass down low to Mason Schiffelet. Back to the top of the key with Braxton Burlett. Whistle sounds. Foul is going to be called. Foul is going to be called on Mark Wilcox, Jr., his first personal foul. Seems third here in the first half of play. Falcons will keep possession here in the front court, inbounding it from the sideline. Will be Braxton Burlett. Sir Bertolet inbounds to Tyler Moore. Got it heavily now by the Hawks. Carter Selman. Carter Selman coming to the game with his first appearance of the night. It will be Jamarcus Cr Jamarius Cray back into the game now. Down to the paint. The Falcons sling it around. Three-point shot right at the shot clock buzzer. No good. The rebound's going to be controlled by the Hawks. Rafael Husu gets it out. Right wing side now with Carter Selman. Back to Husu. Back over to Mark Wilcox, Jr., to Ricky Knight Jr. He tries to get a pass out to Jaden Dunham. It's deflected into the crowd and goes out of bounds with 12.24 left to go here in the first quarter of play. So the Hawks will keep possession here in the front court. 12 to 8 is your score. Falcons still on top over the Hawks. Hawks right now trail by four points. Inbounding it from the sideline will be Rafael Husu to Dunham. Back to Husu. Gets it over to Micah Hodge, excuse me, Carter Selman. Down to the corner with it will be Ian Reith coming in the game with his first appearance of the night. Jaden Dunham flips it back left wing side now with Ricky Knight Jr. Three-point shot from the left wing side off the rim. No good. Rebound controlled by the Falcons. Braxton Bertolette as Bertolette from the right wing side. Guarded heavily by Carter Selman. Drives it in, cannot find any room. Looks for three. Allets it out on the left wing side now with Tyler Moore. Moore guarded heavily by Rafael Huzu. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks as it will be. Aiden Gardner drives it into the paint and is stolen quickly away by the Hawks with it will be Mark, excuse me, Ricky Knight Jr. back to Rafael Huzu, top of the key now with Jaden Dunham Jr. guarded heavily by Aiden Gardner, 2-3 zone now from the Hawk, excuse me, from the Falcons as Ricky Knight Jr. down to the paint with Rafael Huzu, Ian Reith back to Huzu, looks for three, fakes it out underneath the arc, two-point shot off the rim, no good, rebound pulled away by the Falcons, Austin Latch as Latch Gets it over to Tyler Moore from the backcourt. Guarded heavily by Carter Selman. Carter Selman putting on heavy defense here. We have a 2-3 zone now from the Hawks on the left wing side. Back to the top of the key with Braxton Bertolet. As it's quickly stolen away, excuse, almost stolen away by the Hawks. Carter Selman really diving in there for that ball down to the paint. Three-point shot from the left wing side. Nothing but net for Austin Latch with his first three-pointer of the night. And just like that, 15-8. Falcons continue to increase their lead over the Hawks as Carter Selman gets a pass out to Ricky Knight Jr. Down to the lane with it will be Jaden Dunham. Dunham underneath the arc. Cannot find any room. He's double teamed here. Back to Carter Selman. Selman drives it in. Tries to get a pass off. Deflects off the knee of what looks like Tyler Moore out of bounds. Timeout is called. And we're going to go ahead and take that timeout with him as well. You are listening to the Shorter Hawks Sports Network.
back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. 10.37 left to go here in the first half of play. 15-8 is your score. Falcons on top over the Hawks here as the Hawks will have possession to start things off with. Inbounding it from the sideline will be Ethan Ian Reith. Gets it out top of the key now with it will be Rafael Huzu. Double team now by the Falcons. 2-3 zone now as it will be Ricky Knight Jr. from the right wing side drives it into the paint. Jaden Dunham at the rim for two. Beautiful, beautiful layup as that will now make it 15 to 10. Shorter Hawks cut the deficit now by five points as the Falcons still looking to increase their lead here with possession as now it's quickly stolen away by Jaden Dunham. Nice defense and quick hands with it will be from the right wing side. Mark Wilcox Jr. Backwards layup is going to be up and no good by Jaden Dunham and the foul is going to be called. So he's going to go line for two shots. Foul is going to be called on Jalen Tarp of the Falcons. That's going to be his first personal foul. Teams first to the first half. He's done him at the line for two shots. First shot will be good. He'll have another. He's done him already with two points. Now three. Jaden Dunham coming all the way from Brunswick, Georgia. Six foot eight sophomore forward from Brunswick High School. 9.58 left to go here in the first half of play. Stenham's second free throw shot will be off the rim. No good. Rebound pulled away by the Falcons. Austin Latch, as with possession now, will be James McNeil across the timeline. Guarded heavily now by Carter Selman. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. As McNeil drives it into the paint. Hawks back to the right wing side. Excuse me, Falcons back to the left wing side. In the corner, three-point shot off the rim. No good. Rebound pulled away by Carter Selman from the backcourt across the timeline. Top of the key, drives it in on the right wing side, hands it off to Mark Wilcox, Jr. Jr. Guarding heavily now by Mason Schiffelet. Back to the left wing side with Rafael Husu. Over to Ricky Knight, Jr. Top of the key now with Jaden Dunham. Organized the offense. Back to the right wing side with Carter Selman into the paint. Mark Wilcox, Jr. trying to get a pass out to Rafael Husu. It's going to go out of bounds. Hawks will keep possession here in the front court. Rafael Husu set to inbound it from the sideline. Husu gets it out. Carter Selman. Selman from the left wing side. Garnered heavily now by the Falcons. James McNeil. 2-3 zone now for the Falcons. Three-point shot from the left wing side will be good by Rafael Husu. As Husu will now make it 15-13. Or excuse me, 14. Hawks have now made this a one-point game here. Falcons with possession here in the front court. It will be James McNeil guarded heavily now by Carter Selman. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. As James McNeil, Falcons down to the paint, back to the right wing side. Three-point shot will be good by the Falcons. Austin Latch with now six points in the night already with three. Eight thirty-two now left to go here in the first half of play. Hawks will take back possession. Inbounding it from the baseline will be Jaden Dunham. Looks like foul is going to be called on the Hawks. Rafael Husu. Husu with his first personal foul here of the night. Team's fourth. So the Falcons will take back possession here. And it looks like we've got some slipperiness on the court as right now they're ringing out the broom to sweep it away. So 8.32 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Falcons will have possession. We restart things here. So inbounding it from the baseline, James McNeil.
Hawks right now coming off with some three-pointers here. Getting into the groove here with 8.32 left to go here in the first half of play. James McNeil inbounds it to who? That's going to be to Aiden Gardner. Top of the key now with McNeil. Back to Gardner inside the paint. Guarded heavily by Jaden Dunham, making it difficult to go anywhere. Two-point jumper off the rim, no good. Rebound controlled by the Hawks. Chris Brown, Jr. coming into the game with his first appearance of the night. Over from Ricky Knight, Jr. Drives it into the lane, cannot find any room. Back to Mark Wilcox, Jr., top of the key, Carter Selman. Now back over with Chris Brown, Jr., into the paint with Dunham. Dunham tries to go for two, double team. Whistle sounds, foul is going to be called. 8.03, now left to go in the first half of play. Inbounding up in the baseline will be James McNeil to Tyler Moore. 18-14, still your score. Falcons still on top over the Hawks. Tyler Moore bringing it in from the backcourt across the timeline. Carter Selman putting on heavy defense here. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. As now Braxton Bertlett outs it out to Mason Schiffelet down to the paint. Schiffelet back out to Tyler Moore. Left wing side guarded heavily by Carter Selman. Hawks putting on heavy defense here. Man to man now as they drive it into the paint. Whistle sounds. Ball pops loose and traveling is called. It's going the other way now with the Hawks as they will take back possession. So inbounding it from the baseline will be... And it looks like they're going to call a timeout as well. We're going to take a timeout and be right back with more on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. It will be Chris Brown, Jr. Takes it in across the timeline now for the Hawks. It's Chris Brown, Jr., top of the key, guarded heavily now by Braxton Bertolett. 2-3 zone, excuse me, man-to-man -man defense from the Falcons. Carter Selwyn from the left wing side, guarded heavily by James McNeil. So they bring it around the arc. Mark Wilcox, Jr., three-point shot. Top of the key will be no good by Ricky Knight, Jr., Shot clock buzzes, and it looks like Falcons will now take back possession. James McNeil outs it out high to Braxton Bertlett. Back to McNeil, guarded heavily by Carter Selman. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. As now McNeil back to Bertlett. Bertlett back to McNeil. From the right wing side with it, Tyler Moore drives it in. Can't find any room. Heavy defense from Carter Selman. As now Tyler Moore slings it back. Right wing side with Braxton Bertlett. Bertlett, heavy defense, can't find any room in the paint. Shorter Hawks doing excellent defense, not allowing anybody inside the lane. Whistle sounds. Foul is going to be called on the Hawks. So five team fouls now for the Hawks. 6.42 left to go here in the first half of play. Tyler Moore inbounding it from the baseline. Tyler Moore tries to get out to Braxton Bird, led on the right wing side, and it's going to go right into the Hawks' bench. So the Hawks will take back possession here. Inbounding it from the sideline will be Ricky Knight, Jr. Jr. gets it out to Chris Brown, Jr. Jr. outs it out, still in the backcourt. Now finally across the timeline as Chris Brown, Jr. works it in on the left wing side, guarded heavily now by Tyler Moore. Two threes, excuse me, man-to-man -man defense from the Falcons as Carter Selman now down to the right wing side underneath the basket. 
Layup is going to be up and good by the Hawks. Micah Hodges now with four points on the night to now make your score 18 to 16. Hawks now cut the deficit by two. Tyler Moore guarded heavily by Carter Selman. Runs into, I believe, Jalen Tharp. Down to the lane. Shots going up and no good. Rebound controlled by Grant Angelay of the Hawks. Down to the lane. Layup's going up and no good. Whistle sounds and a foul is called. And down goes Tyler Moore hard into the paint. Clock will stop with 5.55 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Falcons will take back possession with Braxton Bertlett inbounding it from the baseline. So Braxton Bertlett gets it back from Tyler Moore. Carter heavily now by Carter Selman. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks as they drive it into the paint. Lamps up and no good. Rebound control quickly by Micah Hodge. He rips it down quickly. And takes possession for the Hawks across the timeline. Chris Brown, Jr. flips it over to Micah Hodges from the left wing side. Ricky Knight, Jr. slings it back over to Grant Ashley. Now back to Chris Brown, Jr. Back to Ashley. Back to Jr. It's Ricky Knight, Jr. Skip pass down low to Micah Hodges. Tries to get it to Hodges, and it goes quickly out of bounds. 5.26 left to go here in the first half of play. So Chris Brown, Jr. looks like he's going to inbound it here from the baseline. And coming into the game now will be Rafael Husu. It's now Chris Brown Jr. inbounds it to Micah Hodges. Back to Grant Ashley, top of the key. Back over to Chris Brown Jr. Garnered heavily by Braxton Bertolette. 2 3 zone now from the Falcons from the left wing side. Rafael Husu slings it back to the right wing side. Grant Ashley for three off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away by Jamarius McRae. McRae hands it off to Tyler Moore. Moore from the backcourt across the timeline. Man to man defense now from the Hawks as Tyler Moore looks to drive it down top of the key. Almost lost his handle there. Quickly recovers. Slings it back to the right wing side. And now back to the top of the key as Tyler Moore drives it in on the right wing side. Quick handoff. Two-point jumper. Off the rim. No good. By Mason Schiffelet. The Hawks will take back possession. Chris Brown, Jr. down to the paint. Three-point shot from the left wing side will be good by Grant Ashley. As Ashley now with his first three-pointer of the night. As that will be enough to put the Hawks on top. 19-18 over the Falcons here as they now lead here for the first time here in this contest with 4.28 left to go here in the first half of play. As now James McNeil motions out. Tyler Moore tries to set up the offense. Guarded heavily now by Chris Brown, Jr. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks as Brown, Brown almost had a steal there. Falcons quickly recover. Shots going up and no good. Rebound control by Rafael Husu. Brings it into the front court. Tries to get a pass off to Ricky Knight, Jr. It's going to go off his hands and out of bounds. Possession will be awarded now to the Falcons, as it will be. Braxton Bertolette inbounding it to Tyler Moore. 4.07 left to go in the first half of play. Hawks still on top now by one point here in this contest as they have come back from behind and are now leading by one point. Tyler Moore got it heavily by Rafael Husu. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. Tyler, Hus Tyler Moore back to Jamarius McCray. Three-point shot from the top of the key. Nothing but net from Jamarius McCray now with his first three-pointer. Of the night as that now puts the Falcons back on top, 21-19. As Chris Brown Jr. from the right wing side, guarded heavily now by James McNeil. Back to the left wing side as the Hawks set up the offense here. Driving into the paint, Chris Brown Jr., Micah Hodges, two-point jumper off the glass, excuse me, off the rim, no good. Rebound and put back still no good as now the Falcons will quickly steal it away. Top of the key now with Tyler Moore, three-point shot from the right wing side is going to be up. And no good with the whistle sounds right before he got the shot off. Timeout is going to be called. And we're going to take that timeout with him as well. You're listening to the Shorter Hawks Sports Network.
Back here live on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Hawks with possession here. Chris Brown, Jr. Inbounds it across the timeline as it's quickly stolen away by the Falcons. Down into the paint. Lamps coming up and good. A Jamarius McCray now with five points on the night, already with three. So 23-19, Falcons on top over the Hawks here. It's Grant Ashley into the front court. Slings it down low to Jaden Dunham. Steps out of bounds. Whistle sounds. And the Falcons will quickly take back possession. So James McNeil inbounds it from the sideline. So 2.50 left to go here in the first half of play. Tyler Moore guarded heavily by Carter Selman. Man-to-man -man defense now from the Hawks as Tyler Moore, top of the key, slings it over to Jamarius McCray. Three-point shot, nothing but net from Jamarius McCray now with eight points in the night, already with five. So that will now make it 26-19 as the Falcons continue to increase their lead over the Hawks. Chris Brown, Jr. to Ricky Knight, Jr. Three-point shot from Carter Selman off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away by the Falcons. Mason Schiffel let Tyler Moore from the backcourt across the timeline, guarded heavily by Carter Selman. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. Tyler Moore looks down inside, trying to find some room, drives it into the paint, weaves his way through traffic, can't find any room. Left in the lane, up and good by Braxton Bertolet with now seven points on the night, already with five, as that will now make it 28-19. Falcons still on top of the Hawks. Timeout call with 2 3 left to go here. In the first quarter of play, excuse me, in the first half of play. We'll be right back on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Hawks with possession. Grant Ashley inbounding it to Ricky Knight, Jr. Jr. slings it in, still in the backcourt to Chris Brown, Jr. across the timeline. Left wing side, Carter Selman down to the paint. Back to Grant Ashley, top of the key with Carter Selman. Now back to Chris Brown, Jr. 2-3 zone now from the Falcons. Jaden Dunham has the ball, loses his grip, and it's going to go out of bounds. Whistle sounds, and a foul is going to be called on. The Falcons, James McNeil, his first personal foul, team's third of the first half. Less than two minutes to go here. Chris Brown, Jr. is set to inbound it from the baseline. So Hawks will keep possession here in the front court. James Dunham into the paint. Down to Chris Brown, Jr. underneath the basket. Can't find any room. Back on top of the arc. With it will be Carter Selman. Three-point shot from the right wing side. In and out. No good by Ricky Knight, Jr. Falcons will take back possession. With it will be Tyler Moore from the backcourt. Going to be guarded heavily now. By Carter Selman, 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. Tyler Moore organizes the offense, motions out. Jamarius McCray down from the right wing side, back to the top of the key. Heavy defense now from Carter Selman. Back from the right wing side with it will be James McNeil. McNeil drives it into the paint, slings it back to the left wing side. Three-point shot off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled away, battled for. Kept alive by the Falcons. Whistle sounds. And did it go out of bounds is the question. It was right on the line. Falcons will keep possession here in the front court. Inbounding it from the sideline will be James McNeil as McNeil backs it out. Top of the key now with Mason Schiffelet. Right wing side to Braxton Bertolet. Bertolet back to the right wing side. Top of the key with James McNeil. McNeil guarded heavily by Chris Brown Jr. Man-to-man -man defense now from the Hawks. Hawks still battling for possession as it looks like they will get it. 57.9 seconds left to go here in the first half of play. Substitutions coming in for the Falcons will be Austin Latch. Coming out will be James McNeil. Assistant coach. Trevor Liddick cleaning up some sweat off the floor. 
It looks like the court is now clean. So the Hawks will take back possession here. Ricky Knight Jr. from the backcourt. Double team now as he slings it back over to Chris Brown Jr. As the Hawks battling to get out of the front court, finally into the front court. From the right wing side, Grant Ashley back to Chris Brown Jr. on the left wing side. Well, it will be Carter Selman as he tries to go to somebody. Clock will stop with 42.3 seconds left to go. Chris Brown Jr. will end it for the Hawks. They'll keep possession here in the front court. 28-19 is still your score. Falcons on top over the Hawks here. Falcons lead by nine points here in this contest. Chris Brown Jr. quickly inbounds it to Grant Ashley. Ashley spins around into the paint. Layup's going up and off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away and kept alive by James Dunham. Jaden Dunham back to Grant Ashley. Ball loose. Pulled away by the Falcons. They get it into the front court. Tyler Moore down to the right wing side. Three-point shot off the rim. No good. Rebound smacked away out of bounds by Grant Ashley. Whistle sounds. And the clock will stop now with 23.2 seconds left to go here in the first half of play. Timeout is going to be called, and we're going to take a timeout with them as well. You are listening to the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. Lip is going to be up and good by the Falcons. Shorter Hawks will take back possession with less than 10 seconds now left to go here in the first half of play. Chris Brown Jr. around the horn, down to the paint. Carter Selman posts up for two. Off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away by Jaden Dunham. Whistle sounds, clock will stop at 2.4 seconds left to go in the first half of play before we head to the locker room. 28-19, still your score. Excuse me, 30 to 19, still your score. Hawks will keep possession here in the front court. Chris Brown Jr. set to inbound it from the baseline. Top of the key now with Ricky Knight Jr. Last minute three, off the rim, no good. Clock is not running. Timeout is going to be called. And we're going to take a timeout with them as well. You're watching the Sport Shorter Hawks Sports Network.
back here live on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network as we have your stats up right now here. Current score. Current score, excuse me, 30 to 19 as Falcons on top over the Hawks here in this contest. So right now, quickly running through some stats for Jamarius McCray right now with eight points on the night. Braxton Bertlett with seven points for the Falcons. Austin Latch with six points, two three-pointers. Mason Schiffelet right now with five points in the night. Aiden Gardner with two, looking over at your shorter Hawks. Jaden Dunham right now with three points on the night. Grant Ashley with three. Micah Hodges with four. Raphael Husu with three. And Ricky Knight Jr. rounding out the lineup with six points on the night as he leads overall for the Hawks. I want to thank you all for tuning in right now as we're here at halftime. Your score, 30-19. to 19. Montevello Falcons on top over the Shorter Hawks, 30-19. to 19. We're going to take a break and come back and give you the second half right here on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network.
Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. Right now, your score, 30-19. Falcons on top over the Hawks. The Hawks with possession, three-point shot. Top of the key will be up and good by Rafael Husu as Husu with now six points in the night, already with a lone three-pointer. So six points. So that will now make it. 30 to 22, Hawks now cut the deficit inside the lane. Laps going up and good by Jamarius McCray with now 10 points in the night already with eight. Foul's going to be called, and he's going to go to the line for the and one. The basket will count. Foul's going to go on the Hawks. Ralph Barnett, Jr. with his first personal foul. As this is his first appearance of the night. Over the line, shooting the and one will be Jamarius McCray. Clock now stopped at 19.31 here in the second half of play. We finally entered the second half, first half. Hawks came out strong, took the lead for just a little bit, are looking to take back the lead here again in the second half. The and one is good. For Jamarius McCray with now 11 points on the night. So the Hawks, Rafael Husu brings it in from the backcourt, skip pass down low to Mark Wilcox Jr. across the timeline. Rafael Husu from the left wing side, guarded heavily now by Jamarius McCray. Back to Jaden Dunham. Dunham can't find anybody. Hands it off to Mark Wilcox Jr. Down in the lane. Lamps up and no good. Rebound battled for by the Falcons and the Hawks. As it goes out of bounds, Falcons will take back possession. So inbounding it from the baseline will be James McNeil. 19.07 now left to go here in the second half of play. And it looks like James McNeil, yep. So Tyler Moore now brings it in across the timeline. 33-22 to 22 is your score. Falcons still on top over the Hawks. Tyler Moore Jr. from the left wing side. Double team now by Jaden Dunham as well as Ricky Knight Jr. Falcons underneath the arc with it will be Aiden Gardner drives it into the lane, looks for two. Shot will be up and good by Aiden Gardner. We're now four points on the night already with two. So that now increases the lead for the Falcons as now Ricky Knight Jr. Back to the right wing side, three-point shot from the right wing corner. Off the rim, no good. Rebound battled for, controlled by Jaden Dunham. Keeps it into the front court now with the Hawks. Top of the key now. Back to the left wing side, Ralph Yohuzu into the corner. Down to the paint, Jaden Dunham looks for two, blocked. Whistle and foul called. And they're going to call the foul on James McNeil of the Falcons. His second Team's first here of the second half. Both teams now with one team foul each. So at the line shooting two will be James Jaden Dunham. Dunham right now with three points on the night. First shot rolls in good. He'll have another one. Jaden Dunham now with four points on the night. It's Jaden Dunham from Brunswick, Georgia. Attended Brunswick High School. Six foot eight sophomore forward. Second free throw shot will bucket in good. Now five points on the night. Thirty-five twenty-four, your new score. Falcons still on top over the Hawks now. Braxton Burlett gets it off to Aiden Griner down to the right wing side into the corner. Three point shot off the mark, no good. By Mason Schiffel and Hawks take it back the other way. Ricky Knight Jr. top of the key down to the right wing side. Rafael Huzu back to Ricky Knight Jr. Down to the left wing side with it will be Ralph Barnett, Jr. Rafael Husu posts up for three on top of the key. Off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away by Aiden Greiner. Hands it off to James McNeil. McNeil down to Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore across the timeline. Left wing side now. Guarded heavily by Ricky Knight, Jr. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. Three-point shot from the left wing side. Off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled away by Rafael Husu across the timeline. Skip pass down low into the paint. Rolls right out of bounds. Pass was intended for Mark Wilcox Jr. as Jr. almost had it, couldn't even get a hand on it as it went that fast. So Braxton Bartlett inbounding it from the baseline. Falcons will take back possession. Tyler Moore brings it in from the backcourt, guarded heavily now by Ricky Knight Jr. Man-to-man defense now from the Hawks. Mason Schiffelet drives it underneath the arc with it. Aiden Griner, heavy defense now from Jaden Dunham. 
sky hook from Aiden Gardner is going to go up and good. Are they going to count it is the question. Foul is going to be called on Jaden Dunham. So Falcons will keep possession here in the front court. So inbounding it from the baseline will be Tyler Moore out to Aiden Griner. As Griner tries to get the pass out to Moore, it's going to go right off his fingertips and out of bounds. <coughs> Hawks will take back possession, inbounding it from the baseline. Ricky Knight Jr. back to Rafael Husu. Husu slings it across the timeline now with Mark Wilcox Jr. back to Rafael Husu. Guarded heavily now by Tyler Moore, man-to-man -man defense from the Falcons. As Mark Wilcox Jr. back to Ricky Knight Jr. around the – Around the arc, backwards layup is going to be up and no good. Whistle sounds and a foul is going to be called. Foul is going to go on Aiden Gardner, his first personal foul. Team second of the second half as Jaden Dunham hit the paint hard. It will now be at the line for two shots. So Dunham's first shot will be up and good. He'll have another. Dunham now with six points on the night. Thirty-five twenty-five, your new score. Shorter Hawks now cut the deficit by ten. Second free throw shot will be up and off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled away by Jamarius McCray. Falcons with possession. Tyler Moore across the timeline. Guarded heavily by Ricky Knight Jr. Gets it over on the right wing side now with James McNeil. Guarded heavily by Rafael Husu. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. Right wing side, three-point shot off the rim, no good. Rebound controlled by Ricky Knight, Jr. as Jr. takes it in across the timeline. Levin Lane's get up and good by Jaden Dunham with now eight points on the night, already with six. And so from the left wing side now, Braxton Bertolette, top of the key with Tyler Moore. Works it in on the right wing side, got it heavily now. By Ricky Knight, Jr., man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. As Braxton Burlett drives it into the paint, can't find any room, backs it out to the right wing side, Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore guarded heavily now by Ricky Knight, Jr. Hawks with some heavy defense down in the paint, cannot find any room. Down the lane, laps it up and no good. Rebound controlled by the Falcons. Three-point shot off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away by Jaden Dunham. As now the Hawks will take it back the other way. Ricky Knight, Jr. from the right wing side, guarded heavily by James McNeil, man-to-man -man defense from the Falcons. Two-point jumper off the rim, no good by Mark Wilcox, Jr. Keeping it alive will be... Ralph Barnett Jr. with his first two points of the night. And just like that, 35-29, Falcons still on top over the Hawks. Air Hawks quickly trying to cut the deficit here. As Braxton Burlett drives it into the paint. Left up and no good. Rebound pulled away by Jaden Dunham. Dunham into the paint from the backcourt. Skip pass over to <coughs> Rafael Husu. So Husu across the timeline. Whistle sounds. Media timeout is called, and we're going to take that timeout with them as well. We're right back with more action on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. So Ralph Barnett, Jr., top of the key now with Mark Wilcox, Jr. Back over to Ricky Knight, Jr., down to the lane. 
Hawks trying to go in up for two. Jump ball will be called. So it's in between Ralph Barnett, Jr., Austin Lynch, and Aiden Gardner. So the Falcons will take back possession. Tyler Moore brings it in from the backcourt across the timeline. Four, less than 15 minutes left to go here in the second half of play. Top of the key with it will be James McNeil up for two. No good. By Jalen Tharp. Tries to go up. It's blocked by the Hawks. Nice defense. Whistle sounds. Foul is going to be called. As Mark Wilcox Jr. goes up. He tries to go up for two. So Rafael Husu inbounds it from the baseline, top of the key now. With Ricky Knight Jr., three-point shot from the right wing side up in no good by Rafael Husu, and it will be. Jalen Tharp taping it, taking it back the other way now for the Falcons. Tyler Moore back to Tharp, back to McNeil, top of the key, drives it into the paint, flanks it back left wing side. Man-to-man -man defense now from the Hawks' heavy pressure. They bring it in on top of the arc. Trying to find any room they can. They cannot find any room down in the lane. So Jamarius McCray almost loses his hand, tries to recover, almost does, and it goes out of bounds. Whistle sounds, and the Hawks will take back possession. So Ricky Knight Jr. inbounding it here from the sideline, gets it out to Rafael Huzu across the timeline, down to the right wing side, guarded heavily by Tyler Moore, man-to-man -man defense from the Falcons. As Ricky Knight Jr. slings it back over to Rafael Husu. Back to the left wing side now. Ralph Barnett Jr. up for three off the rim. No good. Rebound pulled away by James McNeil from the backcourt across the timeline. Slings it over to Tyler Moore. Moore guarded heavily now by Ricky Knight Jr. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. Back over to Jalen Thorpe. Hands it off to James McNeil. Back over to Jamarius McCray. T Tyler Moore underneath the arch. Backs it out top of the key. Still guarded heavily by Ricky Knight Jr. Putting on heavy pressure. Cannot find any room down to the paint. Three-point shot from Jalen Tharp. Will be up and good as Tharp now with his first three-pointer of the night. And just like that, Falcons will now increase their lead 38-29. to 29. Falcons still lead as the Hawks top of the key now with Micah Hodges coming into the game for the second appearance of the night. Skip pass down low from Rafael Husu back to Ricky Knight Jr. To Ralph Barnett Jr. Three-point shot from Ricky Knight Jr. Nothing but net from Ricky Knight Jr. Jr. already with six points. Now nine on the night. Three three-pointers in a row. This man is on fire here tonight. Three-point shot from the left wing side. Sinks in good for the Falcons. Austin Latch now with nine points on the night. The three-point game is starting to come out now for both the Falcons and the Hawks here. 12.34 left to go here in the second half of play. Substitutions coming in. For the Falcons, it will be Braxton Bertolette, Mason Schiffelet, as well as Aiden Gardner. Hawks will sub in Ian Reith in place of Ralph Barnett, Jr. So 12.30 now left to go here in the second half of play. James McNeil, top of the key. Slings it in on the left wing side now with Braxton Burlett. Burlett, skip pass down low underneath the arc now with Austin Latch down to the paint as they look for two, can't find any room. Skips it back out. Top of the key, James McNeil guarded heavily by Raphael Huzu. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. McNeil drives it into the paint. Whistle sounds, double dribbling. So the Hawks will be awarded possession, inbounding it from the baseline. Mike, Mark Wilcox, Jr., back to Raphael Huzu. Into the front court now quickly. With Ricky Knight Jr. back to Rafael Husu, top of the key. Double team now as it looks like ball is going to be battled for. Jump ball will be called. Clock will now stop. 11.59 left to go here in the second half of play. Timeout is going to be called. And we're going to take a timeout with them as well. You're listening and watching the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. <coughs> Sports Network. We're back with more.
Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. 11.59 left to go here in the second half of play. 41-32 is your score. Falcons still on top over the Hawks. Raphael Huzu across the timeline, down to the right wing side. Flips it over now to Jaden Dunham. Dunham hands it off to Ricky Knight Jr. Back to Raphael Huzu on the right wing side. Drives it into the paint. Can't find any room. Ian Reef looks to track it down. It's going to go out of bounds. Whistle sounds. And the Hawks will keep possession here in the front court. Ian Reith set to inbound it from the sideline. Reith gets it out to Rafael Husu. Down on the right wing side. Husu is going to trip, trip himself up there. He is going to lose his grip. Shot clock expires. So the Falcons will take back possession. 11.38 left to go here in the second half of play. Volunteer assistant coach and head JV coach Brady Flynn cleaning up some last-minute sweat off the court here in the backcourt. Hawks are head coach by Wade Anderson, assisted by Trevor Lydic. It's, of course, volunteer assistant coach Brady Flynn. Falcons will have possession here. Inbounding it from the sideline will be Jalen Tharp. 11.38 left to go here in the second half of play. James McNeil brings it in from the backcourt across the timeline. Man-to-man -man defense now from the Hawks as Rafael Husu. With some heavy defense for James McNeil. Down to Aiden Gardner. Hands it back off to James McNeil. McNeil to Jordan Tharp. Into the lane now with Aiden Garner. Three-point shot from the left wing side. Off the rim, no good. By Braxton Bertolette. Ball goes out of bounds. Whistle sounds. And possession will be awarded to the Hawks. Mark Wilcox, Jr. set to inbound it from the baseline. So Wilcox, Jr. gets it out. To Ricky Knight, Jr. back over. To Mark Wilcox, back to Ricky Knight, slings it across the timeline. Ian Reith on the left wing side, got it heavily by Jalen Thorpe down to the paint. Reith back to Knight, three-point shot, just misses the rim, and it's going to go out of bounds. Falcons will take back possession. So inbounding it from the baseline will be Braxton Butterlet. James McNeil from the backcourt across the timeline. Man-to-man -man defense still with the Hawks, guarded heavily by Raphael Husu, hands it off to Mason Schiffelet. Schiffelet drives it down inside. Aiden Gardner underneath the arc. Hands it back off to Braxton Bertolette. Down to the paint. Ball is loose and picked up by Ricky Knight Jr. Slings it over to Mark Wilcox Jr. Into the lane. Lips up and no good. Rebound battled for. Controlled now by Aiden Gardner. Quickly stolen back away by the Hawks. Ricky Knight Jr. Back to Rafael Husu to Ian Reeve. Flips it back over to Rafael Husu to Jaden Dunham. Top of the key. Organizing the offense. Down to the right wing side. To Ricky Knight Jr. back to Rafael Huzu. Three points. Shot! Nothing but net from Rafael Huzu with now nine points on the night as that is his third three pointer of the night to now make your score 41 35. Shorter Hawks still cutting the deficit here in this contest with 10 07 left to go here in the second half of play. And a quick steal from Rafael Huzu down to the paint. Drives it into the lane. Floater in the lane. It's going to be good by Rafael Huzu with now 11 points on the night already with nine. So that now makes it 41-37. Timeout is going to be called, and we'll take a timeout with them as well. We'll be right back with more action on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network.
back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. Tyler Moore brings it in from the backcourt across the timeline. Top of the key now, guarded heavily by Ricky Knight Jr. The Falcons drive it underneath the arc, can't find any room. Backs it out to the right wing side with it will be James McNeil as McNeil drives it into the paint. Skip pass down low on the left wing corner. Back to Tyler Moore into the paint. Back to the right wing side, three-point shot from James McNeil. Off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away by Jaden Dunham. Dunham almost looked confused right there. He goes, where, who, where are you guys? And then he finally passes it out to Raphael Husu into the front court. Skip pass back to Jaden Dunham. Top of the key, guarded heavily by Aiden Garner. Three-point shot from Raphael Husu up and no good. Rebound control by the Falcons as it goes out of bounds. Whistle sounds. Clock will stop at 9-12. Left to go here in the second half of play. Foul is going to go on the Falcons. Tyler Moore, that's going to be his first personal foul of the night. Team's fourth here in the second half of play. So inbounding it from the baseline will be Raphael Husu. Husu out to Jaden Dunham. Dunham guarded heavily by Aiden Gardner. It's now the Hawks set it up around the arc. Left wing side with Ian Reith. Back to Ricky Knight Jr. Over to Raphael Husu. Right wing side. 2-3 zone now from the Falcons. Three-point shot off the iron. No good. Rebound pulled away by the Falcons. Aiden Gardner flips it over to Braxton Butterlet. Now the Tyler Moore. Left wing side got heavily by Ian Reith. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. It's now back into the game. Ralph Barnett Jr. for the shorter Hawks. Three-point shot from the left wing side. Up and no good by Mason Schiffel. That and the Hawks will take it back the other way with Raphael Hoos, who tries to get a pass off to Ian Reith. Quickly stolen away by Mason Schiffelette. Now quickly taking back possession with the Hawks. And a floater will be good by Rafael Huzu as Huzu now with 13 points on the night already with 11, as that will now make it 41 to 39. Falcons still on top of the Hawks. Hawks slowly catching up here. It's Braxton Bertolette from the right wing side. Back to Mason Schiffel, that three-point shot off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away quickly by Rafael Huzu across the timeline. Down to the left wing side, got it heavily by Tyler Moore. Man-to-man -man defense from the Falcons. As Rafael Huzu tries to get a pass off, whistle sounds, foul is going to be called on the Falcons. Mason Schiffel at his first personal foul, team's fifth here in the second half of play. So Hawks will keep possession here in the front court. Rafael Husu inbounding it from the baseline, gets it out to Ra Ralph Barnett Jr. Almost lost his grip there as he was almost tipped away and quickly recovers. Rafael Husu up for three off the rim, no good. Rebound battled for before the rebound came down, the whistle sounded. Falcons will be awarded possession and timeout will be called. We're going to take a timeout with them as well. 7.57 left to go here in the second half of play. 41-39, Falcons lead. We'll be right back with more action on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. 41-39 is your score. Falcons still on top of the Shorter Hawks. Shorter Hawks not out of this thing just yet as they are looking to pick up a W right here at the Winthrop King Center in beautiful Rome, Georgia. Tyler Moore guarded heavily by Rafael Husu. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. Braxton Bertolette back to Tyler Moore. Left wing side now with it will be Austin Latch. The Falcons trying to organize something here. Three-point shot from the left wing side. Off the rim, no good. Rebound battle for Controlled by the Falcons. Keeps it alive in the front court. 
Mason Schiffelet trying to keep it alive. Get a pass out to Aiden Gardner. It's going to bounce off the Hawks and out of bounds. Clock will stop at 7.33 left to go here in the second half of play. Hawks will take back possession here. It will be Mark Wilcox, Jr. inbounding it from the sideline as Mark Wilcox, Jr. gets it out to Rafael Husu from the backcourt, brings it in across the timeline. 2-3 zone now from the Falcons. It's Rafael Husu out to Ralph Barnett, Jr. Hands it off. Now he's going to fake it off. Levin lanes it up and no good. Rebound pulled away by the Falcons. Mason Schiffelet. So Tyler Moore, top of the key. Gets it out right wing side now. With Austin Latch, back out to Tyler Moore, back to Latch. Skip pass down low underneath the arc, can't find any room. Back to the left wing side and quickly stolen away by Carter Selman. Selman back to Mark Wilcox, Jr., Jr., across the timeline, grunted heavily now by the Falcons. Austin Latch back to Carter Selman, right wing side now with Ian Reith. Can't find any room, grunted heavily by Tyler Moore, three-point shot from Ralph Barnett, Jr., off the rim, no good. Ball will go out of bounds, whistle sound. Substitution coming in for the Falcons will be Jamarius McCray along with James McNeil. Checking out be Aiden Gardner and Austin Latch for the Falcons. Jaden Dunn now coming back into the game for the Hawks now. So Tyler Moore brings it in across the timeline. Guarded heavily by Carter Selman. Selman putting on heavy pressure from the right wing side. 2-3 zone now from the Hawks. It's now James McNeil, top of the key, drives into the lane, can't find any room, backs it out. Right wing side now with Tyler Moore. Moore, double team now, heavy pressure from Ian Reith and Carter Selman as he drives it into the paint. Left wing side into the corner, three-point shot from Jamarius McRae, no good. Rebound pulled away by Rafael Husu as Husu back across the timeline. Right wing side, got it heavily by James McNeil, drives it into the corner, skip pass down low to Jordan Dunham, has it stripped away. Ball battled for again, going into the front court between James McNeil and Mark Wilcox Jr. Whistle sounds, and the Falcons will t the Falcons will retain possession here in the front court. 6-11 left to go here in the second half of play. Ricky Knight Jr. inbounding it here from the sideline. No. Excuse me, Ricky Knight Jr. coming into the game. For a second, he looked like he was set up for an inbound. So James McNeil inbounds to Tyler Moore now back to Raxton. Bertolette back to Tyler Moore, back to Braxton Bertolette into the paint now with Aiden Garner guarded heavily now by Jaden Dunham. Heavy pressure from Jaden Dunham, man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. As Gardner really looking for the sky hook here. Finally goes up for two off the rim, no good. Kept alive by the Falcons, Braxton Bertolette. Bertolette from the left wing side, heavy pressure now from Mark Wilcox Jr. Outlets it out to Tyler Moore on the right wing side underneath the arc. Drives it into the paint, can't find any room. Spins, shoots, jumps off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away now. By Jaden Dunham, flips it back to Carter Selman from the <coughs> from the backcourt across the timeline. Left wing side now with Carter Selman to Ian Reith. Back to Carter Selman. Three-point shot. Off the rim, no good. Rebound. Battle for it's going to go out of bounds. Whistle sounds. And the Falcons will take back possession. 5.23 left to go here in the second half of play. 41-39 is still your score. Falcons on top over the Hawks. As now James McNeil guarded heavily by Ricky Knight Jr. Allen's it out, Aiden Green, now Tyler Moore. Back to James McNeil, guarded heavily by Ricky Knight Jr. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. Layup in the lanes, get up and no good. Rebound and put back will be good as Aiden Gardner with a beautiful slam dunk put back for six points already with four. Ian Reed from the right wing side, post for three fakes. Floater in the lanes, get up and no good. Rebound and put back, no good. Rebound battled for. Controlled by the Falcons, timeout called. Aiden Gardner had no idea what to do. He quickly calls for a timeout, and we're going to take that timeout with him as well. We're right back with more action on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network.
Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. 41-39 is your score. James McNeil starts it out top of the key. Motions out Tyler Moore. Guarded heavily by Ricky Knight Jr. Man-to-man -man defense from the Hawks. Braxton Berlett underneath the arc. Two-point shot will be up and good by James Berlett with now nine points on the nine as that will now make it. 43 to 30, excuse me, 45 to 39. Falcons still on top of the Hawks. J Jaden Dunham drives it into the paint. Two-point shot off the rim, no good. Rebound battled for, controlled by the Falcons. Mason Schiffelet brings it in across the timeline with Tyler Moore. Moore back to McNeil. McNeil guarded heavily by Ricky Knight Jr. Man-to-man -man defense from the Fal excuse me, from the Hawks. Spraxton Burlett drives it into the paint underneath the arc. Two-point shot will be good by Braxton Burlett now with 11 points on the night. Another timeout is called, and we're going to take that one with them as well. 45-39, your new, excuse me, 47-39, your new score. Falcons continue to increase their lead over the Hawks right now, 47-39. We'll be back with more Shorter Hawks sports action on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. So Hawks will have possession here. With it will be Ian Reith. Gets it out to Rafael Husu. Jaden Dunham. Back to Rafael Husu. Back to Ian Reith. Left wing side guarded heavily by Jaden Thorpe. Rafael Husu, Ricky Knight Jr. Down to Mark Wilcox. Wilcox up for three. Rattles out. No good. Rebound controlled by Tyler Moore of the Falcons. And it's going back the other way. 328 left to go here in the second half of play, 47-39, still your score. Falcons on top over the Shorter Hawks right now. It's Jaden Thorpe down to the lane with Aiden Gardner back to Jordan, Th Jordan Tharp. Three-point shot from the top of the key up and no good. Rebound controlled by Aiden Gardner. Keeps it alive. 14 seconds left to go on the shot clock. As now it looks like Braxton Burlett gets it out to James McNeil. McNeil back to Tyler Moore. Motions out, Jaden Thorpe. As now Braxton Burlett guarded heavily. Double team now by the Hawks underneath the basket. Two-point shot screen up and good. Are they going to count it? No, they are not as it was right at the buzzer. Timeout call. We're going to take it with them as well.
Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. After further review, referees have reviewed the play through instant replay, and they have determined they will count the baskets of so 49-39. Now Falcons lead by 10 here. So Rafael Husu from the right wing side gets it back out to Mark Wilcox, Jr. Down to the lane with Jaden Dunham. Two-point shot will be good by Jaden Dunham, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. He'll go to the line for the and one. Foul is going to go on Aiden Gardner, his second team's fifth here of the second half. So Jaden Dunham now at 10 points already with eight. So he'll be at the line for the and one here. Jaden Dunham's and one will be good. So Dunham now with 11 points on the night. Leading overall in scoring with 13 points, Rafael Huzu. And right behind him in second now, Jaden Dunham with 11 points on the night. James McNeil across the timeline, guarded heavily by Rafael Husu. Man-to-man defense from the Hawks. They stretch out to a 2-3 zone. Down Aiden Gardner, drives it into the lane, guarded heavily by Jaden Dunham, not letting him go anywhere. As he tries for two, off the glass, no good. Rebound controlled by Jaden Dunham, takes it back the other way for the Hawks. Carter Selman into the front court now. Right wing side, hands it off to Rafael Husu. Husu down to the paint. Left wing side now with Mark Wilcox, Jr. Flips it back to Rafael Husu. Husu from the left wing side, got it heavily by Tyler Moore, down to the paint with Jaden Dunham. Dunham back to Mark Wilcox, Jr. for two, off the glass, no good. Whistle sounds, and the foul is called. Foul's gonna be called on Aiden Gardner. So that'll now be his third personal foul of the night, team seventh. So Mark Wilcox Jr. at the line for two shots here. Mark Wilcox Jr. so far scoreless on the night. First free throw shot, no good, he'll have another. Mark Wilcox Jr. Coming from Mobile, Alabama. Transfer from Sneed State Community College. Six foot five, graduate forward. Second free throw shot will be up and no good. Rebound pulled away now by Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore got it heavily by Carter Selman in the backcourt as he's dogged heavily. Can't find any room. Man-to-man -man defense now from the Hawks. Less than 90 seconds to go here. In this contest, Tyler Moore looking to just run out the clock here. Ten seconds left on the shot clock as he's not passing it anywhere. Top of the arc, down to the paint as he's looking double team now. Back top of the key, three-point shot. The shot was made, excuse me, the shot was attempted right after the buzzer. So shot clock violation. Now Ian Reith inbounding it from the baseline. A minute 11 left to go here. The second half of play. So Ian Reith inbounding it from the sideline here for the Hawks. Reese gets it out to Rafael Huzu from the backcourt across the timeline. Got heavily by James McNeil. Man-to-man -man coverage from the Falcons as Rafael Huzu on the ground. Ball's going to be battled for, and the jump ball will be called. Clock now south of the minute three. Falcons will take back possession. Timeout is going to be called, and we're going to take a timeout with them as well. Your score right now, 49 to 39, 49 to 30, 42, excuse me. Hawks continuing to cut the deficit here as they are trying to finish off the game with a W here. We're going to have more action back right here on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawk Sports Network. 
A minute three left to go here in this contest. 49-42 is your score. Hawks currently trail by seven points here in this contest as James McNeil set to inbound it from the baseline, gets it out to Braxton Burlett, back to James McNeil from the backcourt across the timeline, quickly top of the key, looks to go down the lane, brings it in on the right wing side, guarded heavily by Rafael Huzu, man-to-man defense now from the Hawks. As Tyler Moore, top of the key, guarded heavily by Carter Selman, Selman not letting him go anywhere. Tyler Moore looking to run off more time off the clock. Ten seconds left to go on the shot clock as it is quickly stolen away by Carter Selman. Flips it over to Ricky Knight Jr. Down to the lane. Left screen up and good by Ricky Knight Jr. With now 11 points on the night already with nine. And another timeout is going to be called. And we're going to take that timeout with him as well. 49-42, your new score. Excuse me, 49-44, your new score. Hawks continuing to cut the deficit here in this contest with 33.8 seconds left to go here. We'll have more action in just a few moments on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. Back here live on the Shorter Hawks Sports Network. 34.7 seconds left to go here in this contest. James McNeil brings it in across the timeline. Foul is going to be called on the Hawks. Ricky Knight Jr. That will be his first personal foul. Team's fourth here of the second half. So James McNeil quickly into the front court. Cla Shot clock and the clock are synced completely, or just about. This clock will stop with 27.1 seconds. Shot clock will stop with 26. James McNeil now set to inbound it here from the sideline next to the Falcons bench. So James McNeil gets it out to Braxton Burlett. Whistle sounds again. It'll be Ricky Knight Jr with his second personal foul. James McNeil, Allen's it out high, whistle sounds. And it appears they're gonna call the foul this time on Raphael Husu. So Husu Now with two personal fouls on the nine, and up of the line shooting will be Aiden Gardner. As Gardner's first free throw shot will be good. He will have another to make it 50-44. Second free throw shot will be good by Aiden Gardner now with 51 points on the night. So Ricky Knight Jr., left wing side. Outlets it out to Ian Reith, quickly stolen away by James McNeil. Shot clock has been turned off. Layup's going to be up and good by Braxton Bertolet with now 13 points on the night, already with 11. Less than 10 seconds. Lebin Lane's going to be up and good by Rafael Husu. Husu now with 15 points on the night, already with 13. Seven point eight seconds left to go here in this contest. Seven point five now as they've just quickly changed the time. Braxton Burlett looks to run out the last few seconds of the contest, and that is it. Final score fifty-three to forty-six. 
Shorter Hawks will fall to the Montevello Falcons, 53-46 final score. I want to thank you all for tuning in here as we'll have your final stats right here. Fifty three forty six final score for the Montevello Falcons. Jamarius McCray finishing the night with eleven points. Braxton Bertolette with thirteen. Jalen Tharp with three points, a lone three pointer on the night. Austin Latch with nine. Mason Schiffelette with five. And Aiden Gardner with six and four year shorter Hawks. Ralph Barnett Jr. with two points on the night. Mike Hodges with four. Grant Ashley with three. Tying second overall in scoring for the Hawks will be Ricky Knight Jr. and Jaden Dunham, both with 11 points on the night and with a whopping 15 points on the night. Leading overall in scoring for the Falcons as well, excuse me, for the Hawks as well as the Falcons. Raphael Husu with 15 points on the night, leading overall for the Falcons and the Hawks here tonight as they finish the contest. 53-46 to 46 final score here from Winthrop King Center here in beautiful Rome, Georgia. Well, so I want to thank you all for tuning in here to this contest tonight. I am Will Davis. So I want to thank you all for tuning in here. For Richard Hendricks, Athletic Director, Kylie League, Sports Information Director, Justice Carter, Graduate Assistant, Sports Information, Ava Sanders, Graduate Assistant, Sports Information, Head Coach Wade Anderson, Assistant Coach Trevor Liddick and Volunteer Assistant Coach and Head JV Coach Brady Flynn. I'm Will Davis. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of your evening. I hope you have a great night and hope you have a great weekend and hope to see you soon. As you've been watching the Shorter Hawks Sports Network, final score 53-46 to 46, as the Shorter Hawks will unfortunately fall to the Montevello Falcons 53-46 to 46 final score. Thank you all for tuning in and hope you have a great night.